morning welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog we got up really early this morning we had an 8 a.m um, marriage counseling like session this morning which i'll talk about more later but right now i need to get ready because i have an orange theory class at 10 15. um normally i go at 9 but i moved it because of our um counseling session i need to hurry up and get ready i need to leave here in 15 minutes so we'll catch up after my workout with Teddy right now. I finished up lunch, ate my afternoon, ate my afternoon latte, I'm drinking, wait. <laughs> I just finished up eating lunch and I am now drinking my afternoon latte. That was hard. And I've been sitting here doing like admin work and stuff. I asked you guys on my Instagram to submit through like a Google Forms, like any questions you had. These questions were so good. And since it was anonymous, I feel like you guys felt really free to just like ask whatever you wanted. And so I'm really excited to film that video. I was also shopping for wallpaper and just house projects that we have going on that will be another video next week. It's actually Tuesday. I feel like we haven't really talked much today. I've had such a busy morning. And yes, Yesterday, I actually opened my new Apple watch. So I'll put that footage here. I feel like it's always fun to open a new Apple product. I got my Apple watch in, so let's open it. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Okay, I just put it on, so cute. While that's setting up, I'm gonna explain why I even got a new Apple Watch. So this is my old Apple Watch. I have had this since I was a senior in high school. The battery would just die really fast. Since I've been working out again for the past four months, I've been loving using my Apple Watch, but it would die a lot, so I wouldn't be able to like, you know, log all my workouts and see, you know, progress and things like that. And at the end of last year, Natural Cycles kind of like announced that they will sync um, the data from the new Apple Watch with Natural Cycles. So if you don't know, I use Natural Cycles to prevent pregnancy, essentially. I take my temperature every single morning and log into my phone and it can tell whenever I'm ovulating. So whenever I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, let me use my Apple Watch. Well, my Apple Watch is too old to do that. So I looked into different options because I've also considered getting the Aura Ring because the Aura Ring tracks, you know, activity and your temperature, which are the two main things that I would use something like this for. But one, the Aura ring is way more expensive and two I love dainty jewelry and the aura ring is like a really thick metal ring it's just not as much my style so I went with the Apple watch so I guess I'll start wearing this once it finishes syncing up I might go on a walk tonight and see how it works so the rest of my day is pretty open which I'm really excited about I knew today was going to be a super chill day and to be honest my workout totally killed me like I feel exhausted from that but like in a really good way I'm sure we'll go on a walk tonight per usual but I think I'm just gonna chill the rest of this afternoon do some more admin work I feel like I have so many computer things to do one of those being planning our Europe trip I have been putting that off for so long and I really need to plan like the places we're going the places we're staying so I think I'm gonna spend some time doing that today and just having a chill day it's supposed to rain this week which I'm not excited about I miss the sunshine already it's kind of a gloomy day but also feels kind of cozy so maybe we'll embrace this cloudy day and just have a cozy day in it's a little bit later I'm actually cooking dinner right now and I'm doing a whole video of what I eat in a week to go live probably like next month so I feel like this week I won't be showing as much cooking as normal but the kitchen is a mess I have let the dishes pile up so we've got to take care of that
after dinner, we went outside and played tennis a little bit, like hit the tennis ball in the street. And it took us forever. We were trying to get to 20 back and forth without the ball hitting the ground. And we were like 10 feet apart. <laughs> we weren't fun. Anyway, so now's our favorite point of the night where we sit down and watch TV. We took a break for a little bit and we didn't watch for probably like a week. Yeah. We're back at we're it. We're back. <laughs> we started a new show. It's called Traders. So we're going to sit down, enjoy our show. It's currently 8 o'clock, and then we'll get ready for bed. It is 10 18, and I've actually been getting up at 6 50 every morning, which is pretty early for me. I've really been loving it, but with that, I've been going to bed earlier. I feel like I never really vlog in here, like ever, because I don't really vlog like at night or in the mornings because I always film like a night routine or a morning routine. So I'll link that up here or here. Don't know which side it's on. Um, because I recently did both. So I'll put the night routine and the morning routine up there if you're curious what that looks like. And like I mentioned earlier, I've been using my Apple Watch to track my body temperature, to track my cycle. Hopefully this will make it a little bit more foolproof, especially when we're traveling. Just make it easier to maintain taking my temperature. I've been having some breakouts recently. Honestly, not sure why. My skin's doing better this week compared to last. Last week it was pretty bad. So I was constantly reaching for these Mighty Patches. I've been using these for years. They're by the brand here. And I'm so excited that I am partnering with Hero on today's video. So last week I was using those a lot here, but what is new to me with Hero that I've done for the past week or so is these Mighty Patch nose strips. I'm actually going to do it tonight because I feel like my nose has been breaking out. I got the nose patch on. I also have a few pimples on my forehead that I'm going to cover with this. Okay guys, I'll see you in the morning. Wednesday. I have done my typical morning routine. I actually just threw on a sweatshirt because it's freezing. Last night I used my Hero Mighty Patches and I'm so excited to be partnering with them on this video. When I say I've been using these for years, I mean years. A few minutes ago I actually just took off my nose patch. Guys, I mean look at all of that gunk it absorbed. I love using the nose patch about once a week. I feel like it really flattens my pimples. And I feel like today I just have clear looking skin where the patches were. If you haven't tried the Hero Mighty Patches, you're missing out. And let me tell you, these are super affordable. Each pack comes with 36 patches. I use these whenever I feel a pimple coming on. I love using these to get ahead of it. Or if I have a pimple pop up really fast. When I put these on at night, whenever I woke up the next morning, I was so excited to take it off because the amount of gunk that it absorbs is wild. The best part about these is that they do all the work for you. You leave them on for six to eight hours. So I just put mine on at night and I wake up the next morning and it did all the work for me. It completely absorbs all the gunk and makes it feel completely flat. The name is perfect because these truly are my hero whenever it comes to my pimples. So if you guys want to check out Hero Mighty Patches, be sure to use my partner code and I'll get you 15% off plus free shipping on orders over $35. If you haven't tried them, trust me, they are truly the best. So this morning, I think I'm going to do a quick workout with my weights and then we're going to run some errands. So let's work out. We'll get ready and head out. So something really cool about Orange Theory is that they have on their app, like at home workouts. I just screencast it to my TV and it's cool is it also connects to my heart rate monitor. So up there you can literally see my stats. So I'm going to do a 26 minute workout just with weights because my membership I only go twice a week, but I really wanted to work out five times a week. So this is a great way to weight train and build muscle without like making my membership more expensive. for the day. I'm about to 
run my errands, but I wanted to sit down and chat with you guys. I mentioned yesterday morning that we did marriage counseling and I feel like that raises red flags for people. I wanted to chat with you guys about our heart with that. So whenever I say marriage counseling, I mean like the person that we see is a psychologist, but he's also a Christian. It has been so helpful for our marriage. So we started seeing our counselor when we were engaged and it was so helpful through engagement, especially for me and Sam, because not only are we just two people coming together, which can be challenging, but we have two different backgrounds coming together, two different cultures coming together. It's been super helpful to go to counseling, more to equip us and even walk through any present challenges or even how to have conflict well. So I would highly recommend it if you are either a newlywed or you've been married for a while. I think marriage counseling is so helpful. What I love about the counselor that we go to is one, he knows scripture like the back of his hand and he will always encourage us to go to the word and to remember God's word, but then also he will teach us about how the brain works or how certain like psychology theory or anything like that. And it's been super helpful to have um, the tools in our toolbox to use to help grow a healthy marriage because that's our goal. Like we don't want to be reactive. We want to be proactive and to really grow and understand each other even though we're only almost three years into marriage. Going to counseling has just made our marriage that much better and that much stronger. So I just wanted to encourage you in that. And also there's no shame in that. It's easy to go about life and then look back and go, oh my goodness, how did we get to this point? And we never want to get to that point. And I trust that we won't as long as we keep Christ in the center and each other first. It's a great thing and I love it so much. Today felt like the perfect overalls day. It's a little windy, but not too cold. So these black overalls I've owned for years. They're from Free People. I love them so much. And then my white tee is from Madewell. And then I'm wearing my Air Force Ones. And then for jewelry, my earrings are from Madewell. And then this necklace is actually new, though it's a Christmas gift. It's a super long story that I'll tell you later because I have a haul later on in this video. So I'll explain that in the haul, but I love it. I love how dainty it is. Also help please. I am well aware that this band is just not it. It's not cute. So let me know if you guys have any cute Apple watch band recommendations, especially to wear with like cute outfits. I mean, I know it's hard to make it look super cute and fashionable, but something better than this. All right, let's go run some errands. I feel like in every video we end up going to Target. <laughs> Sadly, I'm returning these pillows. They're so cute. They just don't go with our couch, but I'll link them down below because they're so cute. Good morning. I am on my way to Orange Theory and I'm actually running pretty late. Today is going to be kind of a work day. I have some meetings. I want to do some more like admin type stuff. And then after that, I'm going to do a haul with you guys. So maybe that will make this gloomy day a little bit more fun. <laughs> So, first of all, my hands are killing me. Look at those blisters. I walk in there, wow, no one's here. And so they were like, where do you wanna start? And I was like, treads, I didn't think I'd get a treadmill. And I was like, man, where is everybody? I realized as they're like telling what's going on today, that it was the 2000 meter row benchmark, okay? If you guys recall, I passed out and got a concussion from the 200 meter all out row. Now it's different. One's an all out. One is like, you're trying to beat your time, but you're not going as hard as you can the whole time. Literally I did. And I looked at my past 2000 meter row, which I did a few years ago. And I know you're wondering, did I beat my score or my personal record time? I sure did. I rode that in eight minutes. I beat it by 12 seconds. And then they expected me to run on the treadmill after that. My legs were straight jello. So I literally walked and like kind of ran and then they expect me to do these ab workouts after no no that was my old score that's my new score i'm dead i am dead <laughs> I just 
wrapped up my meeting. It was so good and helpful, and I'm just so excited for all the new content that's gonna be coming your guys' way. But I wanna do a quick haul. This is all kind of random. Let's start with my necklace before I forget. Sam got me some necklaces from this brand, Golden. He had gotten me a few different necklaces for Christmas and was like, pick which one's your favorite, we'll return the rest. So I was like, I really want a necklace with your initial on it. It was a little bit more pricey than the other ones, but this was my Christmas gift. And you may be wondering, Jacqueline, it's April, why did it take you this long to get it? The first one I ordered, I forgot to select which initial I wanted, gotta return that and get an S. So I did that and I got the S in. I got it in like the shortest size possible and I put it on, I was like, oh wait, I wish it could be a little longer. So then I returned that and got this length. I love it, it is a little pricey, but I love how dainty it is. Zoom in a little so you can see. Isn't that beautiful? Next up are a pair of shoes that I have been wanting for so long, guys. So I finally purchased a pair of, I'm gonna say it Vejas, cause I feel like that makes sense and reads correctly to me, but it's probably wrong. I've been wanting a more adult looking pair of white sneakers, I'm trying to adultify my closet. So these felt like the perfect pair and I will say they seem uncomfy now I've read a lot of things that you have to break them in because they are leather um, but I wanted to like be able to wear these in Europe so yesterday at Target I bought some inserts or what are these called insoles now the next pair of shoes I've mentioned this in like every vlog the past few weeks I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing it but in case you're not I lost my Birkenstock sandals I am very excited. I've never had this color and I feel like this is like such a classic color. So I'm gonna try them on right now, see if they work. But I can walk miles in these shoes. They are so comfortable. They literally fit perfectly. Okay, I just wanna show you how cute these shoes are. I feel like the classic pair has the black V, but I liked the more neutral pair. But I need to make lunch. It's like 1.30 and I'm starving. That protein smoothie helped me over, but I need some fuel. feel not well. My throat is not doing well and Sam's throat started hurting yesterday. So I didn't fill up for cooking tonight and pizza sounded amazing. We'll see if it's any good. We are on the final episode of Traders. So we're gonna see who wins the season finale. I just finished up my bath, which felt amazing. I always take an Epsom salt bath at night. Not always, but often is maybe a better word. Um, and today I added a lamp in her bathroom. Tell me this is not like the most cozy vibes ever but i am tired i feel a pimple coming up right here so i'm just gonna put one of my here at mighty patches on it and hopefully i will wake up and it will be fully taken care of all right i'm gonna go to bed and i'll see you guys in the morning Good morning, happy Friday. I've been sitting here getting some computer work done, but I am feeling so much better this morning. Literally, praise the Lord. But today is gonna be a pretty chill day. I set you down because my arm was hurting. Um, I really need to plan our Europe trip. And then tomorrow we're starting a big house project. So I need to like prepare for that. It's a pretty chill day. I don't really know what we're gonna be doing tonight. I think tonight I'm gonna cook dinner. Not gonna lie, that pizza was delicious but I felt terrible after like I just don't feel as good compared to whenever I cook at home I decided to move like working spots because I needed a new scene and I have been shivering so much But I was on the couch with the blanket. So I was like man, I'm really cold I came over here and I was like I can't handle this I went over to the thermostat 62 degrees in here So I turned the heat on because it was like hot last week, but it's freezing this week, Tennessee You're confusing. I have been sitting here planning our Europe trip and it's truly so exciting. I have two cities like fully planned and then I need to finish planning the three other cities. So I kind of wanted to explain like my thought process behind planning a trip like this and I'd love to know like what you guys enjoy whenever you plan a trip. So I love spontaneity but at the same time i need a plan i'm the kind of person that i want to make the most of any trip like i get fomo if i went somewhere and then realize i missed out on something like really cool because i didn't do enough research but then if every second of my day is planned then i feel restricted and like i can't make an adjustment if i find something that i want to do so this is how i manage those two things and perfectly combine them together i make a google doc and then i have a page for every 
single city we're gonna go to and then on that page I make different categories so I put where we're gonna stay places to go and then places to eat and then I put like on there things that we do need to book ahead for example if we're gonna go to rome i think a lot of people have recommended to book the coliseum ahead because it can get crowded really fast so that's something i'll plan in advance but if it's something like a bike tour maybe we won't know which day we want to do the bike tour so we just figure that out whenever we get there so what i like to do is with the places to eat i do so much research and i put where they're located and what kind of food it is what the vibe is that way if we're in Paris and we're at the Eiffel Tower and we go, man, we're starving. We don't waste 30 minutes looking around for a restaurant. I just go to my handy dandy list of the research that I've done and I know the restaurant will be good. I know it's worth going to and I know it's in the area because of my research. So Google Maps actually came up with a way that you can organize different places to go in Europe. My friend Sarah on Instagram, she just talked about this. I think she even made a reel. So if she did, I'll put that on the screen here. I'll like put a link to it. She just lived in Germany for like a few months. I love her so much. And so she gave me a lot of tips. I was texting with her and she was telling me all the places I need to go. So I've been like putting it all in my computer, but those are kind of like my travel tips. I really like to like be organized and know all of my options without like making a designated plan for what we're gonna do every single day so now I'm going to start planning for the home stuff we even got a new coffee table that I want to put together but that's a different video so I think what I'm gonna do is end the vlog here I was so happy to partner with hero on today's video be sure to use my partner code Jacqueline this will get you 15% off plus free shipping on orders over $35 I'll have everything you need to know linked down below I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was relaxing and cozy and chat and all the fun things. I have lots of fun videos coming, so be sure to stick around if you aren't subscribed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.